welcome to chemistry made easy by dr andir uh, so this is this video is solely dedicated uh, to the english medium students who are following either the biology uh, or maths stream so they will be studying uh, biology maths chemistry or physics and the purpose of this video is to uh, provide you with some resources related to chemistry uh, so hope you guys have been watching my channel uh, and know who I am. I'm a chemistry teacher and a doctor in profession, a medical doctor. So uh, what I want to address in this video is uh, though how good or how clever these English medium students are, they are usually underprivileged when it comes to the resources. Uh, by resources, I mean the uh, teacher's aspect and also the aspect of uh, the study material you get right so uh, what I feel is what I personally feel is English medium students are right uh, they have been studying doing all their studies since grade 7 until their levels right they have done the hard part uh, in English medium uh, because their mother tongue is definitely either Sinhala or Tamil and they have uh, started studying in English only since grade 6 as far as I know so until grade 11 they have done the hard, hard part uh, really well and they have chosen to do either maths or bio stream for their A levels which is the hardest part right you have finished the harder part but still the hardest part is remaining and this is where the problem arises uh, the two problems you come across is the lack of great teachers because when it comes to Sinhala medium, you find a lot of great teachers in every and each city uh, who are good enough to teach weaker students, right? But when it comes to English medium, the number of students who are capable of uh, speaking in English and teaching in English is very low com compared to the Sinhala medium teachers. And that becomes a great problem for the students who are studying in English medium. So they don't get the best opportunities to learn from the great teachers. It doesn't necessarily mean that there are uh, the most of the teachers who are teaching in English are not good, but uh, comparatively the number of teachers who are teaching in English medium is less. So for the same reason, uh, you find a lesser number of great teachers, which in turn becomes a problem for most of you. Unless you are extremely clever, uh, this is going to be a real problem that you wouldn't have ever thought would arise uh, before you were you have had chosen this stream. So the other part is uh, the lack of study material. Now, when it comes to Sinhala medium, uh, there had been the, there are a lot of Sinhala medium textbooks uh, written by various authors who are great. Uh, and there are a lot of uh, review books for past papers written in Sinhala. Uh, so, and there are also model papers written in Sinhala along with reviews. So most of these Sinhala medium students have the opportunity to get hands on, of, hands on those and uh, get their job done really well. But when it comes to English medium students, uh, they lack most of these uh, textbooks and also most of the review books for past papers and most of the model paper books. So that is a huge problem. And I also believe most of these English medium students are comparatively cleverer than the Sinhala medium student because they have been learning things uh, not from their mother tongue, but a different foreign language. And they have done their O levels really well and they have studied things in a foreign language. So if you have got to the point of A-levels with a good O-level result, that means there's a big chance you are cleverer than the average single or medium student. So you guys are relatively a good set of students who are underprivileged. So this is a problem that has been there for decades, right? Now, most of you guys don't know that I have studied my A-levels in Sinhala in my first attempt and then I had to uh, change my medium because of the lack of resources uh, in relation to the uh, teachers and also 
with respect to the study material. So I know how difficult it is to follow English medium, uh, biology or math stream. All right. So that's why I thought of ad addressing this problem because I have personally, uh, I, I had to personally go through this uh, problem. So I know how difficult it is for you. And the other thing that I want to tell here is now I can only help you guys in chemistry. So because I'm a chemistry teacher. So what I can do is now I have started translating all my single medium notes into English. So uh, now for the moment I have translated the first lesson atomic structure. So it will be available on notes.lk for you to download. So if you are already if you have already joined my classes, you will have the uh, you can join and have the singular medium not and also the English medium not. So that's not going to be a big issue for you. But there won't be any videos or uh, classes conducted in English medium because I don't have enough time to do that for the moment. But still I can help you by stating the necessary technical terms in English while I'm conducting the singular medium class. So that will happen, right? So it will not, won't be uh, like uh, jargons said in singular because the technical terms will always be stated during the class in English. Uh, the not problem will be entirely solved, right? Solved, uh, but for the moment, I only have atomic structure translated. Now, uh, the bonding, bonding lesson, I have been translating it to English, so it will be available uh, in a couple of weeks, probably within the next two weeks. And like so, I'll be translating the whole chemistry syllabus, but it is, it is going to definitely take around 10 months, right? So this, uh, the thing I'm going to tell, tell you right now is not uh, entirely applicable to the uh, 2022 batch because they won't be getting all the lessons translated and they won't be getting all the tutes necessary in English medium, right? But this will be helpful for most of the 2023, 2023 students who, are, who had already joined my classes and who are planning to join my classes. So the note will be available for every and each lesson. So probably every month I'll be able to give you a, an English medium note for a, a, a particular lesson. So by about like, uh, let's say six to seven months, I believe I'll be able to ho translate the whole English medium, whole syllabus into English and then give all the notes to you guys. Uh, so if you have already joined my classes, you will be able to get those uh, in future. And the other most important thing is now there had been students uh, who are really clever, who had been able to do English medium and get a really good result, probably even some island ranks. There had been students who had become island first in biology and mathematics as far as I, I know and also in my uh, medical faculty batch, right? I had a few students who did, uh, did their A levels in biology in English medium into uh, 2010 A level, during 2010 A level. Uh, and most of them had really good island ranks. As far as I remember, uh, one uh, guy was like island 9th, the other one was island 11th, the other one was island 27th, right? So they had really good island ranks. But we all know that uh, most of the, the majority single medium students, minorities English medium, right? So among these English medium students, they are really clever students, right? They get through, but if unless you are really clever, uh, the problem of lack of resources is going to really hurt you. So this is a small attempt to help you guys overcome it, but I can only help you do it, uh, help you overcome the problem related to chemistry, but uh, obviously I can't help with the rest of the two lessons. So hope you will get, you guys will find out uh, the necessary solutions. So that's pretty much it about uh, this. So let's see you guys in the future. If you guys think I need uh, to do more videos in English medium, not related to chemistry probably, but anything related to motivation or anything that you think that is not related to chemistry, yes, I can help uh, through a YouTube video because chemistry takes a lot of time. It's not like uh, standing in front of a camera. 
and uttering a lot of words because motivation thing it yeah it's like easy compared to uh, teaching chemistry because if if i'm about to teach chemistry in english i have to uh, like dedicate a lot of time for that so motivation videos or anything else is not going to take a lot of time to do so uh, so if you guys uh, think that you need more help from me feel free to request under the comment section so that's pretty much it for today uh, see you in the next video peace